Number two, triangle EIF is similar to the large triangle EHG. So you have the small triangle is similar to the large triangle, which will always be true. Now in this problem, they want us to find E to F. They want us to find this length right here, that missing measurement E to F. Well, in this case, I can do the side splitter theorem because I have measurements on the sides of 10 and four and X and six. So I can just boom, imagine 10 is to four as X to six. Now those are not corresponding sides, but it ends up being that if you did small triangle to big triangle, you're going to end up with this. So we can get the answer fairly quickly and just apply the means extremes property, the butterfly method. So six times 10 is 60 divide by four. And I have my answer right away of 15. And that's much easier than setting it up the other way though. The other way is guaranteed to always work. We only use this side splitter method when we have the measurements on the sides. And in this case, that's what we did have. So that's why we used it.